Have you ever caught somebody staring at you and then not know what to do? Yeah, the most common ones I get are usually the subtle one where they look and then pretend not to look, or the most obvious ones that don't even try to hide it and then they just stare you down. For some reason, I don't think I'm getting these stares for my dashing good looks. <laughs> I usually take the bus every morning to get to work, and one day, I got on the bus minding my own business as usual, but then when I turned, I saw that the whole front of the bus was filled with kids. As I made my way to the back, I could feel that I was being watched, and even after I got to my seat, they continued to stare at me until my stop. I tried so hard not to make eye contact while I was on the bus, I would look anywhere else, I would play with my phone, anything to avoid eye contact, but it, I got nervous and got even more fidgety than I would in a regular situation. Looking back, that probably made me seem a little bit more awkward than I would have if I would have just acted normally. Now granted, I do understand that they were kids, so they probably wouldn't have known any better, but it got me thinking about the times when adults or even people my age stared me down. Heck, I catch myself staring sometimes too. So why do we do it? It turns out that staring is just a normal part of life. Starting when we're kids, we start forming beliefs about how things are supposed to be and look like from things like our parents, movies, and TV. This becomes especially important when talking about people with disabilities. Since the general public doesn't have too much exposure to people with disabilities often enough, they don't really know how to interact with them when they do come across them. The good news is that people stare because of that unfamiliarity and curiosity, not necessarily because they have malintent. The best part though is that like with anything, you have the power to choose how much it impacts you. You can let it depress you and bring you down, or you can see it from the person's point of view and understand that their staring comes from a place of misunderstanding. On the other hand, we also have to be self-aware enough to know if we're overthinking the situation. I am terrible at this, I have a horrible habit of assuming that people are going to stare at me automatically. So for example, when I go to the gym, which isn't often, or when I go to somewhere crowded where there's going to be a lot of people, I actively look for people that are going to be staring at me, which in any case would make me the starer. You know, the person doing the staring. Also, if you're a naturally anxious person, then being in a social setting alone is going to alter your nonverbal cues and even your expressions. So you might be walking around with a face that's like, and not even realize it. Unfortunately, this is going to create like a never ending cycle of your worst nightmare. Because people are going to catch on to your nervousness, so then it's going to make them stare. And then when you realize that they're staring, you're going to get even more nervous and then they're going to stare even more. This is basically what happened to me in the bus situation. So what do you do when people are legit staring at you like they won't take their eyes off you and it's making you uncomfortable? Whatever you do, don't act in an angry or defensive way. This will likely be coming from a place of fear and will lead you to lose control over the situation. The best way to deal with it is to be positive and confident. A good old hi, how's it going? will probably be enough to kind of snap the person from staring at you because, let's be honest, sometimes you don't even realize that you're staring at someone. And of course, the memory card on my camera just filled up to right before I got done filming this video. I usually just ignore the people that are staring at me and I find that they usually stop on their own. If they don't, I usually just smile at them and that's enough to make them realize that they were staring at me in the first place. What's the most awkward story that you've experienced because of staring? Let me know and leave it in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more future videos. Like always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.